Welcome to day 16 of the tarot journey. So I want to present to you some ways of working with the major arcana. I think you might find quite fun. Um, so one way, and I highly, highly recommend it, is that beyond this 30 days of tarot, that you connect to your major arcanas really, really purposefully. So there are different ways you can do this. Um, separate them out so you only have your majors. Put the minors to the side. We can worry about them later. And put them in order, so from the full through to the world. Um, if you're not sure what the order is, they usually have the numbers on them. If not, you can always Google it um, or check in your booklet that comes with whichever deck of cards you have. Um, and one thing I would recommend you doing is journaling with them. So because there is 21 cards, you can do this in less than a month. So you can sit with one card a day, every single day, um, until you have worked with each and every one of those major arcanas. This is what I did with Dirty and Divine. It's a really powerful journey, except with Dirty and Divine, I did every single card. So, of course, you can go on to do that and include all the minors too. Um, but what I would say to do is you start with the full. So you have the full, you pull the full on like a Monday or whatever day you start, and you think, right, today... I'm working with the fool's energy. You might want to go away, read a little bit up about it, but then be determined to give yourself over to that kind of energy and to see where it arises in your day. And then at the end of the day, write about it. It doesn't have to be a great deal. It can be a few key words. It could be huge amounts of things happen and you're scribbling away for an hour. Um, but it's a really great way. If you're determined to learn tarot from within the guts and the realms of your own life, then journaling with the cards is an absolute powerhouse. <laughs> it will completely transform how you see them. Um, and then just work through each and every one. Now, other ways to play with the major is we could do similar things to we did at the beginning of the tarot course. We could think, okay, let's think of somebody we know, somebody... Um, Perhaps somebody in our life, like a father figure, a mother figure, um, a partner, and pull a card for them. So I'm going to think of my husband. And I got the son. And then you can sit and you can do like a little comparative about how that person is at this moment in time perhaps identifying with this tarot card. So my husband's currently in a bit of a rebirth. Um, and yeah has all kinds of potential going on for him so i can recognize how the sun would be a great card for him so do the same for yourself and begin to connect the card with aspects of people and things and life that you are familiar with um so what we're going to do now as a group is with our major arcanas or if you don't have them you can do this after the video is just we're going to take one card so we're going to have a little shuffle in whichever way comfortable for you there's loads of different ways to shuffle um i'm going to take one card and that's going to lead us for the rest of the day and this could be your first journaling card or just something that you're going to sit with just to start to understand these huge archetypes of the cards and what i'm going to take i'll take a card for all of us and you take a card for yourself so you'll have two cards the one that i choose for everybody who is in this group and the one you choose for yourself and you can see how they marry up as well so put your card in the comments um, and any thoughts that you have please put them in the comments how does your card your personal card go along with the card that i pull for us as a group okay so let's go so these are only the majors so big archetype so i can you know, you can ask questions or you can just set an intention. So my question, my intention for these cards right now would be, okay, we are working as a group studying tarot. What archetype, which major archetype from the major arcana is going to lead us as we move forward? I'm going to split them. I'm going to take that one. Oh, it's beautiful. Is the Empress. Is the Empress. So obviously I'm pre-recording this, but I do imagine that most of the people in this group are women, but even if they're not, they're people who are perhaps in touch with their femininity, their creativity, their fertility, um, the idea of themselves as creative harvesters who have possibility to sit on the throne and to be abundant. Um, that's a gorgeous card for us as a group. Um, we are reaping the rewards of study um of beginning to know ourselves in our 
most profound depths and that's what these mages allow us to do now the miners will creep in and give you all kinds of gritty detail to go along with like these big themes and we'll come to that soon but these big themes are like so chock full of power and wisdom so as a group we have the empress what do you have as individual cards what is your card comment it below how does it sit with the empress does it contradict it does it sit really nicely do they hold hands so they feel really different um, and let's look at each other's cards and kind of figure out what we what we all think of each other's as well so we can kind of contribute to one another's growth here um, I love this card. She is full of spiritual wisdom. She's full of potential and possibility and personal growth. Uh, she has the sun shining out of her head. Um, she's taking back her power and control. She has these tools in her hand that look like magical spiritual tools. This is a spiral um, that looks like some kind of incredible rod. She has stars going around here, Kabbalah, feminine symbol. I mean, the symbology in this particular deck is quite extensive. We have the corn down the bottom, which speaks to fertility and abundance. Um, the flowers in bloom all over her. The green, the lush green, the moon at her feet. You know, she's connected to her cycle. She's a very deeply spiritual woman, but without being as inwardly and introvertedly spiritual as the high priestess she's bringing her spirituality into her life and you know if I do anything with my tarot cards it's about bringing them into everyday connection and realization and um, so you can bring it into the grit into your family into your working life into your day to day to day to day Okay, so when we're looking at these majors, we're not looking into the future. We're looking at what's here right now. So where is the Empress with you right now and your card? Where is that with you right now? Um, and this is how I will teach you to read the cards, which is why we don't need to go through each one individually. Because if you, you know, you want that, go buy my book <laughs> and memorize it. But actually, I want to free you up to recognize that within this image, there is what I see, there's what you see, and it all is valid. So spend a bit more time with your majors, comment below um, and we'll be moving on to minors tomorrow.